site engineers, land surveyors, anyone that has graduated in engineering, I have the answer to all of your prayers. Yes! This right here is the single best find of my career. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get this thing started. Welcome back to the channel, folks. So if you do or don't know me, I've worked in construction for 17 years and I have been more specifically a site engineer, setting out engineer and project manager. And what else have I done? Land surveying, uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, why is this book the answer to all of your prayers? Well, this is something I wish I'd had when I'd started out in construction. 15 years ago, I was plonked on a site having worked in construction previously and switched over to setting out and surveying. And I did a week's course down in London where I learned how to set out using a Leica, I don't know, I feel like it was a Leica minus 22 model. It was not reflectorless. It was a two man kit, yes for anyone out there old enough to remember those. And I had this like tiny little block with a target on it that would move around the inside of this building. And we used that to survey and set. It was crazy. There were graph sheets and it was insane. Not like the robotic kits or the GPS kits that we have access to today, but I learned very quickly the background to setting out and surveying by doing trigonometry, maths, bearing, all that stuff that you really hate. And whilst it was good, when I got out in the field, I really struggled with how to actually set things out. Like what do people want? Batter rails, how to do batter rails, how to set out profile boards. These are all the things traditionally you'd learn being a second man or woman to an engineer and learning that, that as an apprentice. But now in these days, you're sent out from university if you're not doing an apprentice and you're thrown into the world of setting out and surveying with quite frankly, one crappy module that you might do at university and it's not enough. And very quickly I have seen engineers sink. So if I'd have had this book, I would have not had to learn the hard way because, well, it's just a Bible basically. It's written by Saffron Grant and Saffron actually runs a setting out course. And I wish that this had been available when I did my course because this is actually out in the field. You're out in the field with her team, learning how to use the kit, learning how to set out, and then by the end of it, I believe that you're super confident in your ability to be able to go on site and set out. And there will always be things that you'll need to learn over your career on site that, you know, not everyone can know everything from the offset. So don't get caught up about that. But in terms of the basics and anything you need to know, you'd have this book then to, to kind of revert back to because she, I believe, gives you a copy of this book once you've been on the course. Gail, who works with Saffron, gave me this free copy. I was not at all obliged to make this video and in fact, I really struggle with books. I don't know why, but it's just, I just struggle to read, concentration. But this is such an easy read and it's like, there are pages where it's kind of numbered and there's bullet points. And then the best thing is there's diagrams and it talks you through like the basics and how to calculate. And oh, there's just so much that, as you can imagine, laser level. So you, I got thrown on site and it was like, okay, set up the laser level for us. And I was like, oh, I've never used the laser level. This is gonna talk you through how to use the laser level, the staff, how to get the measurement. It's just, honestly, she's literally thought of everything. And this book, I think, has been like Saffron's baby. Like she has put everything into this uh, because there's a passion to pass the knowledge on to future generations. And you can really tell by just everything that it is covered. So height of collimations for when you do your leveling in your book. When I started out, I used to level in my book and just write the numbers in all the wrong places and then getting such a tizzy over it and really not know what I was doing. This explains how to keep your book properly and nice, the traditional way, all the stuff that we are losing in the industry. We are losing these basic skills because of technology. And actually when you're in the field, you need to be able to rely on your knowledge. And this book will really help you. For example, I've really actually never been that good at batter rails and reading this book, I was like, oh, okay, now I get it. It's just, please. It's on Amazon, there it is. If you go ahead down in my description, there's a discount code for you guys if you wanna get a little bit of money off this book and you will not regret it. I basically am really sad that I didn't have this book 15 years ago. Such is life. 
All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about the book, put them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Like I said, remember that Saffron also does a course. I'll put details about the course below and where you can grab this book from. Yeah, and I'll be back real soon with hopefully another video that'll help you if you're in the engineering construction space.